What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. Last episode was Christmas, I don't know if you guys saw that one, but we're going to keep the tree because some people thought it might be a good idea uh, to keep it as a symbol of our holiday cheer and such. Unfortunately, it's on Big Red's landing pad, but I think we can probably find enough room still in the back right here. Uh, now, I've been doing a little bit of maintenance, getting rid of some of the presents, fixing up some of the stuff up there, uh, and while I was doing that, the nanites were nanniting and placing things. They're still not done, but they got some pretty good uh, headway here in all the time that I spent building this stuff up. But, uh, but, but I think it's probably to the point where we can move Big Red onto the landing pad. I don't know. It might be a bit sketch, but if we can... If we can place a landing gear here where it's built up and then place some over here, maybe, then we might be able to get it working. So let's try that. The other thing I want to do is I want to attack something in this episode. I don't know why I'm feeling the, the, the bloodlust, but uh, <laughs> I feel like we need to be attacking some space pirates because that's something that we haven't done very much of. Uh, but by the way, we're coming very close to the end of this season. And of course, the next season, I think what we're going to what, what we've decided that we're going to do is go into space and head towards Mars. But pretty much the whole season of next season will be taking place in space on the journey to Mars. Uh, so we'll be building up kind of a... I think what we might do is we might take Big Red. And then while we're in space, we'll, uh, we'll turn Big Red from a ship into a station. Because I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, so <laughs> we might try that. And if it becomes dull, we'll just like kind of fast track our way to Mars. And we'll, uh, we'll land there. Oh, we have a little hole there. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, tell me what you think down in the comment section. Oh, uh, if you weren't here for the Christmas episode, we got a lot of, uh, of goodies here. Like, uh, <laughs> we got this right here from the from the great claws in the sky. Uh, we got some, or we got another mole. Uh, we got another, or we got an A-mobile. And we got, uh, what was the other thing that we got? I think a nanite just fixed that. I saw that happen. That was cool. Uh, oh, we got the fighter that we're going to use. The fighter over here. So before we move Big Red, let's see if we can fill the fighter up with some ammo. Actually, before we even do that, let's build ourselves another one of these things. Another pad so that we can uh, land a vehicle. Because currently we only have one and it's taken up by a ship that's run out of fuel. So that's not great. Uh, where is an optimal place to put it? We could put it over there, uh, stemming off of that. That wouldn't be that bad. Uh, or we could stick it up here. That would be that. Maybe we'll make two. We'll, we'll do one of each. How about that? Okay, so we're going to need a couple of, uh, of, of interior plates for this. So let's go hop down into our base and go to our area. We can cut through here because we have these nice little uh, narrow ways. I'm pretty sure it's all in this one right here. So we're going to grab some interior plates. 200 should do because the nanites are going to fix everything up for us. So we don't have to worry about actually building it. So let's run upstairs. We never actually created those stairs, did we? Dang. <laughs> I guess we let's no I don't have any steel plates on me ah, I was gonna do it just then but I don't have any uh, okay we're going to go to where is where are our where the heck are our, uh, <laughs> our conveyors <laughs> okay we'll go to number three and add some conveyors conveyor here we go nope there we go conveyors uh, so I think we're gonna go up one two and then place it right here maybe I think that's a pretty good spot. And then we'll have uh, one, two, three, four, maybe. One on each side of, uh, of these things. Number three connectors. So we'll have one connector here. Oh, we need steel plates. Let's go back down and grab some of those. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can hop inside the nanite thing. Because I think they've taken all the steel plates. No, they haven't. Huh. Well, let's go over here then. I, I think we might have some trouble finding steel plates because they've been using them all. Oh, nope, we have 80 right there. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I thought we'd have a little bit of trouble, but not at all. 80 steel plates ripe for the taken. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to place one on each side here so we can place a maximum of four ships here if we want to. And then we might even convert this into a nice little landing pad as well uh, so that we can like walk up here and stuff. Although I guess we already can through here if we really want to. We can like... Climb up that and then do a little jumpy jew. Oop. A little jump right there. Nanites, good job. You fixed it. Awesome. Cool. Uh, okay, so that's one right there. And we're, we'll, we'll stick little blue number two. Uh, <laughs> that's what I should call it. Little blue number two. I like it. Uh, we'll stick little blue number two on that. So she can power up. Okay. Oops. A little bit of lag there. Uh, for season... I'm wondering what... Nah, eh, I think we'll keep the same world. Maybe when we get to Mars, we'll start a new world. I don't know. I, I'd love to keep the same world as we have here and then just literally just go to Mars and it'd be fine and everything. 
The only problem with that is that it could be a little bit laggy since we have all these, like we have this base and we also have the earth base over there. So it could be getting progressively laggier. Um, so I don't know. All right, we're gonna let little blue number two charge up. Let's uh, let's let's put our batteries on here, actually. Um, I'm gonna have to go set them up. Ah, screw it. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm too lazy to go and set them up. It'll be good. It'll it'll charge fine. Uh, right then. So let's make the other one. We'll fly over here, and we'll take this off, and then we'll place it in in that place. So we'll put one of these things. Then we'll go up. Then we'll do something right there uh, now we need a connector on each side so little connector right here another one right here one right here and then the final one right here awesome we're gonna have more connecting areas the nanites are already getting to it which is good uh, that'll allow us to put stuff on there sweet now we don't have to worry about the, just that one connector that we have over there uh, supplying everything. Okay, now that that's done, I'd like to get some ammunition inside our ship just in case we find enemies in the next few seconds. So let's see if we have any ammunition inside here. Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? I don't think we do. Could be in a different one. Let's look for ammo. Ammo. Is it this? NATO ammo container. I, th uh, I think that's it. Well, we'll get a couple of those and we'll get a couple of missiles as well. Let's throw some of this stuff back that we don't need. I don't think we need that much ammo, but we'll we'll keep it. Uh, how many missiles are we going to need? Probably not very many. Nine, I think, is going to be fine, to be honest. Because remember last time we fired, like, one missile and then got completely destroyed. So, By the way, this ship was made in creative by the, uh, <laughs> by the Santa Claus. <laughs> uh, so, don't hate. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think these guys are connected. I hope they are. Can I even get inside the ship? I don't even know. I think I can. I think I can get through here and then just place things inside the cockpit, which can then get transferred to the guns. But maybe not. Where are our Gatling guns? Oh my god, this is too big, this ship. Uh, medium container. Container. <laughs> container. <laughs> medium container. Okay, can we now fire? Oops. Oops. Whoa. Whoa. I accidentally opened NVIDIA Capture. Not fun. Uh, okay, so let's go to K. No, let's go to G. We're going to go to our um, block weapons. We're going to grab a Gatling gun, and we're going to say... Wait. Wait a second. If I had this here... No. Why? So why is it not working? Ah, okay. I get it. So it's when I click. Gotcha. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with missiles then. Uh, so it's... It, one and two selects it, and then click actually fires it. So if I, yeah, see? I mean, we just based, wasted some missiles in the direction of Big Red. <laughs> I'm just glad it didn't actually kill it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We got a private sail up there we could go after if we want to. Uh, but we only have 10 minutes of flight, so I do kind of want to let this thing uh, charge up a little bit. So let's press G. We're going to go into, no, let's press K. We're going to go find our batteries. We're going to group these up. I thought we had more batteries than this. Do we only have two batteries? I guess that's fine. Uh, batteries, save. Uh, let's go to G. We're going to group our batteries, and we're going to place those in a recharge state. So let's go down, and we're going to reconnect to our base. P, and then we're going to press number 9. So now it's going to be recharging. Awesome. We're going to let that recharge, and then we're going to go after something. Uh, the private sale is a nice thing to go after. However, we just don't have enough charge on that thing, so I'm kind of worried that if we try to go after it, uh, we will we will end up running out of power and bad things will happen. So we're gonna have to let that one fly by and we'll get the next one. Let's get Big Red on there. Let's actually see how the nanites did while we were doing that. I don't think they actually did much, but that's fine. Time to move Big Red. This is gonna be pretty awesome because I think it's the first time that we're actually moving Big Red uh, to a different landing zone than uh, just right here, which is pretty cool. So, oh, hey, look, the gravity is higher on Big Red because it's uh, because it's using earth gravity from the gravity generator. That's something I didn't think of. Cool stuff. All right, big red. Are you ready? How dark is it in the video? Because it's super dark for me. Jeez, I don't know why it's so dark on the moon. Maybe because there's no sun. Okay, P up, and then we're going to go backwards. Do we still have... Yeah, we still have a bunch of hydrogen, so we're good. 
We might have to get some more. Although, I doubt we'll need very much because we're in space, and it's a little bit easier in space. It's a little bit easier in space to, to fly than it is to go off of the uh, Earth. So. Alright, we're just going to maneuver Big Red into position. Uh, now, remember, the reason we had those large, uh, the, the heavy blocks is because uh, the, the um, hydrogen thrusters might completely damage the blocks over there. Let's turn off hydrogen thrusters and see what happens. Are we sinking? No, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, we'll just keep hydrogen thrusters off. That would cause less damage. We gotta make sure not to ruin Christmas by hitting the Christmas tree. And do we have enough clearance? I think we do. I hope we do. Otherwise, this is gonna be pretty awkward. I mean, it's called Big Red for a reason. It's not Small Red. We're going to torch the Christmas tree. <laughs> Jingle bells! Okay, I think we're good on the uh, the back. We just need to go to the side. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Getting close. Alright, we're almost there. Oh my god, how cool does that look? I'm taking a screenshot of that. That, that Hang on. Boom. Screenshot of that. Right there. That looks so cool! Okay, land very, very carefully. Make sure that the back is good, too. I kind of want to move it forward so that we're on the blocks that are completed, but once again, we might torch the Christmas tree if we try that. But at least we'll be on good blocks. Okay, coming in for landing here. Oh, we're attached. Let's press P so we can get a little bit lower. I want to make sure all the wheels are on, all the landing gears. All right, we're connected. Awesome. Well, let's hop off a of big red. We'll actually go through the uh, the bottom area. So let's go down this way. Ah, big red. It's been a while since we've actually been inside big red walking around. Oh, how fun it was to actually build this thing. This was like the whole last season, by the way. I don't know if you guys started, some of you started on season two. I guess that's possible. But, uh, but like the whole last re uh, season, if categorized by one word was build big red. Wait, that's not one word. One phrase. <laughs> okay, there we go. We'll keep it closed. And here we go. See, it did actually create a hole, uh, which is what I thought might happen uh, with the blocks that are unfinished. But whatever. It's okay. It's cool. Actually, I thought I thought these blocks were finished. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, there we go. Big Red is landed. Now we can't just fly freely. How close did we come to the tree? Because it looked really close. It actually wasn't very close. We actually could have gone a little bit further, especially since we were off kilter a little bit from the tree. But uh, that looks so cool. Let's go in the control tower and see what that looks like. I'm I'm curious. I think that's gonna look pretty pretty freaking awesome. We've got Earth gravity as long as we're near this area, which is going to be super weird for me. It's going to be a little adjustment period. Especially since uh, outside this little area, we're going to have moon gravity. Climb, 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 climb the stairs, the endless stairs. Da, 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 da. Oh, I destroyed this, this container here. <laughs> so, yeah, I was tired of it being in the way. Oh, there she is. It's Big Red. Did she have a damage? Oh, for a second I was like, why are we moving? <laughs> no, it's because this thing's turning. Makes sense. All right, there she is in all of her glory. Look at that. The turrets looking for something to kill. The gyroscopes looking for something to gyro. The atomic thrusters having no clue what to do when they're not in the atmosphere. <laughs> it's so cool, though. I love it. It's way bigger than I... Like, when it was over there, it didn't look that big. But now that it's actually here... This thing looks gigantic. Big Red is huge, isn't it? Jeez. I mean, I've seen bigger ships. Don't get me wrong, but but Big Red is is uh, Big Red is one of the, the the bigger ones. I don't know. It's 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 big. It's a big ship. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can find ourselves an enemy to attack uh, with our blue ship over there, because I I think it's probably about time to do that.
So I'm gonna go and uh, and scour the area. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk around and look up. And I'll tell you guys when we find an enemy to attack, and then we'll attack them. And it's gonna be awesome. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Get your A's. Everybody get your A's. <laughs> this is the A-mobile. Promoting A's all around the world. <laughs> Hooray for the A. Hip hip. Hooray. <laughs> okay, you know what? It's taking too long for a freaking thing to, to, to attack us. So, uh, I want the A-mobile to be able to promote itself all across the crater. Since that's where we live. The crater. Uh, so, it needs to be able to get down graciously without falling uh so we're gonna give it a nice little pad or a nice little thing but we're gonna do it in time lapse mode because it's gonna otherwise it's gonna take too long so three two one go built the ramp and uh it's very it's actually very steep it it's not meant to be steep but it is kind of steep oh an unknown signal should we go after that it's over there yeah why not we'll fly to it with our guns out because anything could happen while we're over here who knows no it's been a while since i've gone for one of these things but you know someone said they wanted me to keep going for them so we shall see what's over here uh looks like this thing is uh is beeping just like the other ones <laughs> and uh looks like it's got a button like the other ones and a lucky special item just like the other ones awesome cool stuff any goodies for me uh one of those which i i mean i actually can't take it from there can i where's the there it is Let's grab it from there uh parachute hatch i guess the parachute didn't open because uh probably because there's no atmosphere I guess that makes sense. Uh, can I grab that? No. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's good. All right. We got a we got a nice secret thing. Still no enemies though in the sky. It's kind of weird. But uh, yeah. Look at this monstrosity of a base. <laughs> it's beautiful in its own way. But if you found this, like if you were, it, imagine like humans on Earth and they're like, is there life on the moon? And they come over here with like a, a rover and they're just like roving around or something and they're just like uh, we can't see if there's life. And then suddenly they see like this gigantic Christmas tree and they're like, what the heck? <laughs> what is this? I can see it. Oh, let's test out our new ramp that we just built. Uh, hopefully enemies will come while we're doing that so that we can go and fight. Uh, okay, so where is our ramp, actually? Is it right here? I think it's right here. <gasps> oh, I was sort of right. Alright, so our ramp goes downhill like this, and then it has a nice little curve to it before it goes down onto the moon's surface. And here we go. Go around. So going down is easy. I wasn't worried about going down. I'm kind of worried about going up, though. I don't know if we'll be able to. But at least we can promote the A throughout the moon. Hooray. Get your A. <laughs> Look how lonely this looks. Get your A. <laughs> A's are the best. Here's the best. Around. This is what it would really look like if we, if we, if we in real life, put an A rover on the moon. It'd be, like, super lonely. There's nothing there. But then... Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Oh, my God. That's actually a really cool view. It showcases the tree. Oops. Okay. Well, it did. It showcases the tree. The you, you see little blue off to the right. You see big red. Or no, little blue number two. Not not little blue. Uh, you see big red over there. You see the uh, control tower we spent so long. And then you see the, the bubby mobile just chilling there. <laughs> and you can even see the uh, the mole and mini mole up there. Yeah, man. You can see like everything we've worked on this entire season in just this shot right here. Isn't that crazy? 
It's pretty cool. All right, for the moment we've all been waiting for, everyone's come gathered around to see if we can go up the ramp. I'm not hopeful, but it's possible. We'll see. Uh, I hope we don't bottom out right here. Uh, uh, we kind of do, but it's not really a problem. We still got up it. Well, if we got up that, then we can probably get up the bigger part, considering it's just more of the same. But who knows? Who knows? You know what? <laughs> Yesterday, I was playing GTA with with one of my friends. You know what we were doing? Oh, my God. You guys know Mount Chiliad in GTA? I don't know. You might not play GTA, but if you know Mount Chiliad in GTA, we were going up it <laughs> with, with the motorcycles, but we popped the tires, so it was just the rims, and it was so difficult. That's what this reminds me of, because you have to... It's very slow. It's a very slow process, and takes about an hour. Okay, let's let's get to waiting a little bit more, and we'll see if we can find an alien. And in fact, you know what? Or a space pirate, not an alien. We might go out and search for them on our own. I think that's probably what we're gonna do. So uh, bear with me here. All right, one of the things you guys have been asking for a lot, and I'm I'm doing this mainly to give enemies time to show up again, is uh, is me to cover the base. So in an effort to do some of that, to cover the base up a little bit more, we're gonna build a nice little landing pad right here. Uh, and it'll allow us to get to big red, or big, little blue number two, for gosh sakes. Uh, it'll allow us to get to little blue number two without having to use our jetpack. And in fact, that just reminded me that I should probably add little stair things here. Uh, if we want to get there without using a jetpack as well. Alright, little blue number two. It's time to build your landing pad. And it's going to go up. Like so. Uh, maybe like that. We're going to go up one more as well, so... Let's get normal blocks in here. One more. There we go. And then these. Awesome. Okay. So we've got... Oh, this, this should probably... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we've got the general layout here. Let's place some normal blocks in. And of course, the nanites are going to do some work at uh, actually finishing these off. And eventually... Oh, wait. Hang on. We'll have to do something about this, because we'll have to... We might move one of these and replace with block. I don't know. Because we're going to have to... If we want to have this completely in inside, uh, we're going to have to replace this with one of those ones. A big uh, all-way one. So we're going to have to anchor it off, otherwise everything's going to fall. But, uh, yeah. That might be one of the things we shoot for in Season 3. Is going to be uh, air pressurization. Especially while we're in space, because it'll be interesting. Uh, but let's, yeah, let's, let's place these, I guess we'll just place these all along this. And it might be slightly annoying that we can't get to our, uh, reactors anymore, or our refineries anymore, but whatever. That's the cost of having an inside base. I think it looks better, to be honest, with an inside base. I don't know. I don't know how, how it would fit with cooling. In fact, how does cooling work in space? Like, do you not have to worry about cooling anything? Because these things, you'd imagine, uh, make a lot of heat, right? Because they're refineries in the same room as a bunch of reactors. So you'd think they'd make, like, a bunch of heat. I don't know what the heck, where that came from. Uh, but yeah, you'd think they make a bunch of heat. So do you have to cool it, or is it already cold on the moon, so you don't have to do any, any sort of cooling? I do not know. But it would be interesting to find out. Let's place this. And there we go. Alright, we should now have a completely inside uh, that thing. Plus a nice little landing pad for little blue number two. Uh, unfortunately, we don't see any enemies that have come uh, to, to bother us. So we're going to have to go and find them ourselves. Uh, however, we have a couple missiles, so let's put some in here. I'll put, uh, I'll put nine in here. So we have 13 on that side, and then we're going to have uh, 13 on that side as well. Awesome. We're even. Okay, are you guys ready to go to space? It's time. Ship fuel critical. What do you mean, ship fuel critical? I guess, I think we're good as long as we're not going full power. Okay, let's go to space. We have a lot of time if, as long as we're not using our space bar uh, power. But we're going to go to space, and we're going to see if we can find ourselves some bad guys. And in fact, I think there were some bad guys if we go to towards Earth, weren't there? There were some enemies over this way. Uh, this is where they're commonly going, so. Um, yeah. Look how easy it is, by the way, to escape the, the moon gravity. 
Oh, there we go. We got a commercial freighter. Oh gosh, that's probably huge. Uh, okay, well let's let's go after it anyway because that sounds fun. Commercial freighter. All right. Oh my God, we can see it from here. That thing's gigantic. I'm trying to get a better view on it. We don't want to go too fast because I think last time what we what we did is we went too fast and we blazed past it or something. And it just didn't work out very well. So we're going to kind of just come up on it a little bit. We're going to see if we can fire some missiles at some of its critical components. 